Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be playing with some new Flower Beauty products. I received a really generous uh, PR package in the mail and then I also picked up a few new things when I went to the store the other day. So, um, and I also incorporated some stuff that I already had. Um, so I've done a full face of Flower Beauty pretty recently so I'll link that down below if you're curious, but I got enough new things that I thought I would just sit down and play with some more Flower Beauty. I'm really excited to dig into them. I've got some cream eyeshadow, like I'm so excited. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, you can grab your makeup and do your makeup with me, and let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. Alright, so I'm going to prep my lips, and I've already used this in one of my videos. This is the Petal Pout Lip Mask, um, but I really really like this. Um, this is in the shade Pucker, I think it's the shade name, and you just twist it up and it's got little holes at the top. Twist it up and it just comes out the top. Yeah, I really like the applicator on this. It's nice, you don't have to like dig your finger into a pot. And then I have one more prep step. I've never tried this. There's actually quite a few products in here that I haven't tried, so we're just gonna try them together today. This is their Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. So I've heard Allie Glines rave about this. Um, I've never tried it, but I'm really interested. It looks like it has a lot of shimmer, so that makes me a little nervous. But we'll start by applying this maybe just to the high points, and then depending on how it looks, we'll go from there. Very thin, um, kind of feels slightly oily. It just kind of feels like an oily serum almost. So I'm just gonna take uh, two drops. We're gonna start small and then we can always add more. I'm gonna warm it up between my fingertips. It smells like lavender, I think, is the scent I'm getting. And I'm just gonna pat this just where I normally apply highlighter. All right, that's nice. It, I'm not seeing any shimmer. I don't know if I applied it all over my face if that would make a difference, but I feel like it just gives a really pretty, just kind of dewiness to the skin. All right, so moving into foundation, this is nothing new. This is their Light Illusion Foundation. I've loved this foundation for years. It's definitely one of my top drugstore foundation picks. And I'm actually going to blend it out on my face with this brush, also by Flower Beauty. Um, their brushes are actually really nice. I've purchased quite a few over the years and I really like them. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit. This foundation does have really good coverage and the sun is going in and out. So if there are changes, I'm sorry. All right, so another longtime favorite product is the Light Illusion Concealer. Just really beautiful concealer, one that I've loved for years and years and years. So I'm gonna take this in the shade M12 Light Medium. Um, this is, again, a nice kind of more medium to full coverage concealer. Um, it's funny because I mentioned this in my last flower video, but Wow, the sun, whoo, it's popping. Um, I used to think this concealer was super dewy, so I don't know if they've reformulated it or just my perception has changed, but I actually find this to be more of a natural finish, almost borderline like natural matte finish. So I'm just gonna use the same foundation brush to blend this out. I do have the Flower Beauty sponge, the purple one, and I love that sponge. I think I like the e.l.f. camo sponge better, but the Flower Beauty sponge is really good. So if you just are wanting to try a new sponge, the purple one is really good. So they recently sent me their blush balm in the shade Pinched. I've had this product before, not in this shade. I think I used to have the shade Cinnamon. This is a really, really beautiful blush formula. It's definitely more on the dewy side. Um, and it is a little bit of a thicker kind of liquid, but just really pretty, almost like has a gel-like texture. Really, really nice formula. Kind of feels like the foundation a little bit in terms of texture. 
Oh wow, okay, yeah, this shade is way too light for me. <laughs> it's not showing up at all. Yeah, that's that's not doing anything. But anyway, these blushes are gorgeous. C Cinnamon, I think is the name I used to use. That's the shade. Love that shade. Really pretty. The formula is really great. This shade is just not, not meant for my skin tone. It's way too light. Like, I don't see anything. So for powder, this is again another just product I've had in my collection for um, a while. Love this. It's one of my favorite drugstore powders. Um, this is their Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. Really beautiful powder that's got actually a, a good amount of coverage. Um, I'm going to use it very lightly, but if you are wanting coverage, sorry, I'm looking for my brushes. If you are wanting coverage, this is a great powder. Um, so I'm taking this in the shade L4M1, and it's just such a creamy, creamy formula. Like, it's, it's such a good powder. I do find that I need to set these the foundation and the concealer because they are so creamy and emollient. Um, yeah, I just, to keep them on my face, I feel like they just need a little bit of powder. All right, so for highlighter, this is not a new product. Uh, this I actually picked up when I did my last full face of Flower Beauty. This is their Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I really wanna try their cream highlighter. It comes in like, Kind of looks like this but um i think they've been sold out on ulta so i just haven't had a chance to pick it up but i really want to try that but this is really gorgeous as well and i think i'm just going to dip into this shade right here which is a little bit more like a champagne shade yeah the flower beauty powder highlighters are pretty intense but they're really pretty they remind me a lot of the danessa myricks um pressed highlighters that are in uh the lightwork palette just very shiny, very reflective, kind of more in that intense highlight, but you can definitely make it really subtle and soft and just apply a little bit. So I have their Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. Y'all know Sunswept is one of my holy grail bronzers. It's such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer, very Lila B bronzer-esque, very Kosas baked bronzer, like very much in that family. So if you like a bronzer with a sheen to it, not shimmer, but just a sheen that's not matte, but not shimmery, like this is absolutely gorgeous. So I've, like I said, I've loved Sunswept, but they actually sent me the shade Sunrise. This one is so interesting. So I've already dug my finger in it, but it kind of looks purple like purpley gray in the pan. So I'm gonna swatch both of these side by side so you can see the difference in the tones. They're very different. All right, so this top one is Sunrise, which is the new one. And then Sunswept is the one that I always use. But look how different the tones are. Definitely more cool toned, but still has that nice sheen to it. So we're gonna try this one. I'm a little nervous. I don't know, the undertone, it looks very cool. Um, but we're just going to try it and see what happens. All right, zoom y'all in so you can see. Do we see? It's like super cool toned. I don't know. It's so interesting. But it's really pigmented. I mean, it's pretty. It doesn't look weird. I think if I apply too much, it would almost kind of look like a bruise a little bit because it has like a purpley rosy look to it. But I mean, I don't mind it. It's just, it's very different. It's definitely more of like a contour shade on me, but it has a sheen to it, which is, I don't know. It's just very interesting. Let's take some down the nose. Why not do a little nose contour, which I normally don't do with a shimmery product like this, but just take a little bit. Not that I'm really like contouring my nose. I just like to add a little bit of definition. And I'm taking this on my ref my favorite Ref for 32 brush. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm actually go gonna go in with Sunswept, which 
Just warm up the face a little bit. I'm gonna take it on that same brush. Just kind of sweep that on top. All right, what do we think about the skin so far? I think everything look, is looking really good. I think I can use this bronzer if I just don't go too heavy handed, just use a tiny amount. And this is truly like a contour shade on me. So I'll have to try it again, try it a little differently, maybe use it, whoa! Maybe use a smaller brush and use it for contour because I don't find that it looks super shimmery on the skin. Like I said, these are, it's like a sheen. It's a very natural sheen. So I actually think this would make for a really pretty contour product on me. I just need to try it with a different brush. So for blush, uh, they sent me one of their flower pots. I've actually never tried these before. This is the shade Warm Hibiscus PB4. Um, the packaging is very Milani-esque with the flower imprint in the pan. Um, but yeah, never tried this before. I haven't even swatched this one yet. This one definitely has a sheen or shimmer to it, which I typically go for more matte blushes, but we'll see how this goes. So that's the blush swatched. Actually looks really pretty. Definitely giving me like NARS orgasm vibes. Kind of is that warm pink with a golden shimmer. We're gonna be so glowy today. Every product I've used has glow. Probably could have skipped highlighter, but that's okay. Ooh, it's pretty. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Milani Luminoso NARS Orgasm. Very, very shimmery. If I were to wear this blush again, I would not wear highlighter because as you can see, it's got got a lot of sheen to it. All right, so that's the face. Um, I don't have any more complexion products, so I'm actually gonna do my brows really quickly before we move on to the eyes. I forgot to do my brows. I'm gonna do that really quickly off camera, and then I'll be right back. All right, brows are done. So I actually have quite a few new eye products from Flower. This is probably the part I'm the most excited about. So they sent me one of their eyeshadow palettes. I have another one. Let me go grab it. All right. So this is their Sugar Rush palette. I used this in my last Full Face of Flower Beauty. I love this palette. I'm a purple gal. This is gorgeous. I had so much fun playing with this. I actually need to pull this out again and play with it. So I have that one, but then they sent me their Gimme Gold one. And I don't know if you're able to tell, but this pan right here uh, came shattered. So I don't have that shade, but I have all of these, so that's okay. I normally don't use the lightest shade in a palette anyway, because it's usually too light for me. So this is what we're gonna be playing with today. And then they sent me a couple other little eyeshadow things. So this is their watercolor eye tint. I didn't even know these existed. If I knew these existed, I would have already purchased these like a long time ago. Um, but they sent me the shade. Okay, I have no idea what shade this is. Oh, eight, shade eight maybe? I will link it down below. Um, but it says shake it, shake me up. It's very, very watery. And then it has this little doe foot applicator. This definitely looks like a shade that I'm going to like. It's very, very like thin and very watery. Kind of feels like, um, like when you do watercolor painting, that's what it feels like. So I'm kind of curious to see the, how this will dry down on the eyes or if it dries down, I'm not sure. I don't know anything about these. Like I said, I didn't even know these existed. Otherwise, I probably would have already purchased them. And then they sent me their scribble stick. This looks gorgeous as well. So this is for the lips and the eyes, and this is in the shade 10 Bittersweet. So that's what that looks like. So I was thinking we could use this Maybe on the lips. I have a couple lip products as well. I'm not gonna be able to use everything today. Um, and then this you can just twist up and down. And I think there, yeah, there's a sharpener on the bottom. So yeah, we've got quite a few eye products to play with. Um, they sent me a liquid liner as well. They're Liquid Kajal in the shade Starry. That is gorgeous. Super, super pigmented. So we'll kind of play around with some things, and um, I'm not gonna be able to play with everything, but we'll get to as much as we can. All right, so let's start with the watercolor eye tint. I'm really interested to see how this will work underneath eyeshadow, because I do wanna play with the eyeshadow palette. This looks and feels to me just kinda like a one and done product. 
but we're just playing today. So I'm just gonna apply this on my eyes and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can tell. It's super watery. Pretty sheer as well. All right, I'm gonna take the Sigma E24 diffused blend brush. And just kind of spread that around. Try and blend it out. Very, very thin and very watery. A little goes a long way. I would base, I would definitely just apply a tiny bit at a time. Not because of the color payoff, but just application wise, I think just starting with a tiny bit and then adding more is probably the best. That's actually really nice. I was kind of afraid it was gonna be kind of patchy because it is so watery. I'm just gonna press that into my lid. Still feeling kind of wet. Kind of has the texture of the Kosas 10 second eyeshadows. Um, it's very reminiscent of that. All right, so let's dip into this shade, which is shade three, one, two, three, oh, four, sorry. And I'm actually gonna take the brush that comes with the palette. I actually like these brushes. And I'm just gonna start running this through my crease, up to my brow. All right, I'm gonna take that same shade and run that along my lower lash line. All right, everything is applying very nicely. I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm doing. So, okay, let's go into shade five, which is the shade right next door. This one has a little bit more of a metallic or shimmery finish. I'm gonna take this on a Sigma E28, it's a little more flat. All right, had to take a quick break. Just got a call from my son's school. Nothing bad, but um, we got them, uh, I got a bunch of the girls at the front desk. I got them, and the interns, I got them a bunch of makeup and stuff for Christmas. So she was just calling to say thank you. So sweet, and they're the sweetest people. I love where my kids go to school. They have the best teachers, and um, yeah. So she was just calling to say thank you. Every time I get that uh, caller ID, like, you know, the preschool or my son's school, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? Like, what's happened? But it's nice when it's just like, oh, nothing's wrong. We're just calling to say thank you. Um, anyway, I thought I was gonna have to go pick one of them up or something, just never know. Okay, so I'm taking that kind of darker metallic shade and let me zoom you all in a little bit. Okay. And I'm just applying this to my lid. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a um, antique gold, I think. Is that the right description? Antique gold, like antique bronze? Antique bronze, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty. And I'm just taking that all over the lid. This is getting a little bit more smoky than I had uh, originally planned, but that's okay. And Flower does metallics really, really well. Their metallic shades are so, so beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer actually in the shade, ooh, do I wanna do sun, yeah, let's do sun swept. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this on a fluffy brush just to help further blend out that darker shade. Wow, this is so this is really pretty. It's definitely a little more smoky than I was uh, anticipating, but it's really pretty. Okay, so we need to do something to the lower lash line. Kind of balance this out. Let's do this shade, which I think is nine. And I'm just going to push this into my lower lash line. All right, and then we're gonna do one of my favorite tricks. I always talk about this. Take a little bit of my face powder and just use that to soften up the edge of my eyeshadow, kind of clean anything up. I'm actually not dealing with any fallout, which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, her metallics are out of this world. I'm gonna swatch some of these, they're so, Beautiful. So, so those are some of the kind of lighter metallics. Just so creamy. Really, really beautiful. Um, maybe I will do a little bit of something. 
Mm, okay, I'm gonna take this one, which is shade three. I'm gonna take it on the brush that I used to blend out the eye tint. I'm using a brush because I don't want it to be too intense. I just want a light dusting. I'm just gonna pat that on the center of the lid. A little bit of extra shine. Oh my gosh. Are we witnessing? I mean, these remind me so much of the Sigma eyeshadows. They're so creamy. They layer really well. Very easy to blend, beginner friendly. Pigmented, but not, not hard to use, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. I love this eye look. It's very smoky, but really pretty. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that same shade, pop that in my inner corner. All right, I think we're done with the eyes. I'm gonna leave it like this, kind of like where we're at right now. So I'm gonna apply some mascara. I actually do have a mascara from Flower. I've talked about this before. This is their Lash Warrior Mascara. It is really, really good. I also have their Lash Princess, I think is what it's called. I don't like that one as much. This one's actually really good. Um, and it's interesting because the wand is not really a wand that I typically reach for. It's that kind of plasticky, plastic rubber wand. Um, but I really like this mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply a ton of coats of this, and then we'll be back for the lip. All right, so I applied the mascara. I really like this mascara. It's actually one of my favorites that I've tried so far from the drugstore. The only thing is it's really hard to do the lower lashes. Um, so yeah, that's my only issue with this, but it's actually a really good mascara. Um, but yeah, lower lashes, just the way the brush is shaped, it's really hard to get in the lower lashes. But I also applied some liner. I don't have a pencil liner from Flower, so I just used this one from Alme. This is the All Day Intense Gel Eyeliner in the shade Rich Black. And I just ran that right in my waterline and then kind of took it down into my lash line, just really smudged it in. I don't think any of these lip products are gonna match what we've got going on the eyes. We'll see. Um, I, picked, I picked up a couple and then they sent me, um, I don't even know what this is. Let's start with this one. This is their Perfect Pout Moisturizing Lipstick. Okay, that's what it is. Um, and they sent this to me in the shade Berry More. And this is uh, more of a moisturizing kind of sheer formula. It's definitely got a little bit of shine to it, um, but it comes in just a traditional kind of lipstick bullet. Then the, what I picked up from my store is one of their matte lipsticks and I also picked up a lip pencil. So I got the shade Naked Blush 020. This is very much outside my comfort zone. I don't normally go for these kinds of pinky shades, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna try something new. We, you just never know. It's not like so out of my wheelhouse, but it's just not a shade I would normally gravitate towards. Um, so again, this is the shade Naked Blush. So, ooh. Wow, the sun, the sun is popping right now. All right, so Naked Blush, and then this is the Berry More. Berry More, oh my, God. how did I not get that? That is so cute, Berry More, so cute. Okay, so that's the matte lipstick. This is the more moisturizing lipstick. And then the lip pencil I got, again, very much outside my normal, my normal pick. This is the Petal Pout Lip Liner in the shade Rose. I don't like retractable lip pencils, um, but I thought I would just go ahead and try this one. I like a, just a regular wooden pencil. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try this. Ooh, this is very pink. Very, very pink. I don't know about this. And then this, which I already talked about earlier, this is the Scribble Stick in the shade Bittersweet, which I think is probably the one I'm gonna use because I feel like this kind of goes with what we've got going on on the eyes. So that's our shade selection. I'm either gonna do the moisturizing lipstick or the scribble stick, which I'm leaning towards the scribble stick. Maybe we'll do both. Let's start with the scribble stick. I'm gonna use this to kind of line my lips as well as fill them in. 
I don't even know what the dry down on this is. If it's matte, I'm pretty sure it's matte. It's actually a really pretty color. It's like a shade deeper than my natural lip color. Yeah, this is definitely matte. It's drying down matte. Okay, so let's go in with, let's try the matte lipstick on top. See how that goes. See what happens. Ooh, that's very pink. Ooh, I don't know. Mm, abort, abort. All right, let's go on top. Let's just keep going. Let's go on top with this moisturizing lipstick. Again, this is in the shade Barrymore. Okay, yeah, that's more my speed. Ooh. Ooh, that feels really nice. It's very balmy. All right, that's pretty. Not necessarily the lip I would pair with this eye, but that's a really pretty lip. All right, we're just gonna butterfly clip it and call it a day. All right, guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. It was so much fun playing with some new makeup, especially new affordable makeup. There were some really great products today, some old faves, some possibly new faves. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for being here as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I hope y'all have an amazing, amazing Christmas. Spend time with your family. Try and turn your phone off. Try and take a break. I know it can be difficult. Um, I think this is going to be my last video before Christmas. So I just want to say Merry Christmas. Thank y'all so much. And I will be back next week. All right. Bye guys. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord, of every song.